Greg sets. You know, we're seeing some pockets of some wet weather here in South Florida right now, right? Yeah, we are with some packets of heavy downpours here or there. You know, our rainy season is the end of fire season here in South Florida. So fire season typically ends uh, by the middle and latter parts of May. But in the West, there's been no break from the fire season or the heat. It's in the upper 90s through much of the West 98 in Salt Lake City, 92 in Denver. Just about two thirds of the country is warmer hotter than we are here in South Florida, but we are seeing those little pockets of downpours here there on the radar activity right now is mainly over the western metro areas of Miami Dade and Broward. A little bit of activity right now going up I 75 there towards 595 and the Sawgrass Expressway. Some more activity developing over southwest ranches and Silver Lake. So mainly western Broward going to see some spotty storms this evening. This activity may clip western sections of sunrise, the cell that's near Weston right now. Farther to the south, some showers and thunderstorms. This activity right along Chrome Avenue there and the Tamiami Trail. So uh, folks in Tamiami and western sections near Chrome Avenue there in southwest Miami Dade, Kendale Lakes also seeing some showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder here or there. Feels like temperatures, they are hot for everybody outside of the rain. Mid 90s to around 100 is what it feels like. And we were talking last week about that little disturbance off to our northeast. Because of the shear in the dry air I was showing you last week, I said, I really don't think anything's going to come of it, and thankfully nothing has. It's just a little swirl now that's drifting onto the northwest. You can see it's about to reach the Georgia coast there, and uh, these little thunderstorm tops, they're blowing off to the northwest, an indication that the wind shear continues. Now, this system could saw or drift over land and then turn back over water, and if it still has a little low pressure with it, it could have some limited opportunity for redevelopment, but regardless, down here in South Florida, we're looking good, and in fact, nothing out there in the Atlantic. It is very quiet, but now's the time of the year where we start watching the Caribbean closely, watching what we call the main development region, which is out here in the deep Atlantic. We watch this closely, and the reason we watch is because most of the major hurricanes that impact us in South Florida originate out here, starting usually in August, September, and October, so that's why we keep our eyes out there. But good news, it is quiet out there and development not expected this week. In terms of our forecast for tonight, a few storms around, especially the western sides of Miami-Dade and Broward, warm and humid, no doubt, right? It is late July, and that's what we get at this time of year. Tomorrow, look for steamy hot sunshine, some spotty storms, a high temperature in the low 90s. But look at the feels like temperature 100 to 104. That's going to be the case the next several days until temperatures fall back just a smidge by the end of the week. On the water wind southeast at 10, seas running 1 to 2 feet of light chop on the bays of surf. Temperatures 85. Taking us through the rest of the week, we've got several really hot days ahead, steamy and humid. Highs in the low 90s and some spotty storms here. They're right through the weekend, maybe not quite as hot by the weekend. Back to you.